hi there everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video i have got something exciting for you all if you are a javascript developer and looking forward to get started with ai then i've got you covered this is going to be the complete langchain crash course for javascript developer who want to join the ai party so without any delay let's begin now, if you're wondering what is Langchain, then let me introduce you to it. So Langchain is a framework for developers uh, developing applications powered by large language models or LLMs. So it means using your JavaScript. Now, with the help of Langchain, you can build your own AI models via OpenAI's chat gpt model or google's gemini model and so on right so langchain is a framework that is going to allow you to interact with those large language models like google's gemini open ai chat gpt and many more that are available there so you can use your javascript and langchain and interact with this model and create your own unique model that suits your product and services and create your own AI model using that. So that's what it is. So Langchain simplifies every stage of the LLM application lifecycle. Like you can develop, you can build your applications using Langchains, uh, right? You can take it to the productions using Langsmith. And if you want to deploy it and you turn your chain into an API, then you can use using Langserv, all right? So Langsmith is basically for production, uh, taking to the production Langserv if you want to turn it into an API and you can completely develop your AI model using Langchain. So that's what the brief introduction of Langchain is. And the best part is you can do all of this thing using JavaScript. And that's why Langchain is getting pretty popular every single day, right? And if you want to stay ahead of the crowd, want to save your job, want to keep on upskilling and get that promotion, then Langchain is the way to go, right? So many employers are uh, asking for developers whether they know Langchain or not because they want to introduce AI in some form into their product. And Langchain is the number one choice as of now. And with Langchain, you get flexibility. You can either use Python or JavaScript and then you can create your own model. So here I'm going to teach you how to use Langchain and create your own chat model using JavaScript and Google's Gemini model with the help of Langchain. All right. So now you need to come uh, open your laptop and come into docs and start reading so if you want to do that what you need to do is you just need to come here and type langchain js and then you're going to get this langchain documentations all right and here everything is mentioned you can simply come here and then you can start reading documentations and you can get all the code snippet as well you have got version 0 0.01 here so this is what mainly we will be using as of now and here you have got all the details that is being mentioned here installations guide and whatnot for each and every model all right so here i have already opened up the documentations here in the chart generative model you need to go into the component right so you need to select version 0 0.1 node and then you need to come to the docs inside the component you need to come to the chart model and inside chart model you have Google Gen AI. So Google Gen AI is their Google Generative AI, which is using uh, Google's Gemini version and the Gemini vision. All right. So now what you need to do is you need to come here and also you need to open your VS Code and you need to initialize your simple JavaScript project that you can do using NPM in it and you can get started with it. All right. And now once you are done with this, here I've already done in my part, all right? And then once you're done with it, you can come to this documentation and you need to install this Langchain, all right? So if you scroll it, you can see this command, you can just come here and then copy it and write npm uh, install at the right Langchain slash Google Chain AI, that's all. And in my case, I have already installed it, so you can install. I would recommend you to install these packages, all right? So uh, at the red Langchain slash Google Gen AI, Langchain slash core and uh, Langchain package as well, simply, right? Just uh, type npm install dash dash save space Langchain and then you uh, can install this. And I recommend you to install this .env as well if you want to protect your key. It is not a compulsory thing, it is an optional. I have installed it because I don't want to expose my API keys in the video. 
All right, that's it. You need to install all these packages. Once you're done with this, then you can come back to the documentation here. And as you can see, they have pretty much explained how to use Langchain. First, you need to install this chat Google generative AI model from this Langchain Gen AI. And also you need to this uh, input this harm block threshold and harm category from the Google generative AI. All right. And then here you need to initialize this constructor here. You need to give your model name, max output token and safety settings, right? This harm category and harm broker, harm block threshold is for the safety. These are the safety settings like for the harassment, it should be a block low and above. And similarly, you can use for head speech, sexually explicit content and what more, right? And you, you need to initialize this constructor using the model name or whatever you want. You can do that. And once you have initialized this constructor, what you need to do is you need to invoke this model here by using model dot invoke that's all and you need to write this human because you want human generated response and you can simply ask your question here that's all all right now what you can do is i can uh, i'm going to simply copy this code and i am going to paste here all right and i'm going to remove all this commented stuff let me remove this and let me remove this as well this part and even this part as well we don't need all of this and this as well all right now once all of this thing is removed let me open my terminal and simply type node index.js and hit enter there you go we got an error right so here it is saying please set an api key for google generative ai in the environment variable which is known as google api key or the api key right so we need the google api key so for that what you need to do is you just come here open this tab and then simply type google ai studio all right you just type this google ai studio and then here you got ai.google.dev you just click this link simply all right and then you're going to redirect it to the Google AI Studio website. You just need to scroll this a bit and you need to sign in to the Google AI Studio. All right, it is signing in. In my case, I have already generated the API key and kept. I'm just going to show you. All right, and then what you need to do is you can come here, you can click this continue. And then as you can see here, you have this get an API key button. You can just click this and get your api key all right so i'm not going to do further uh, i'm following this step just to show you i've already generated my api key that's all and you need to just come here and introduce your api key all right so here what you need to do is you need to type api key that's all also guys i have placed my api key inside the env folder i don't want to expose this inside the video so i'm directly going to import it here using the env right so i'm going to say process dot env dot gemini key so i have placed it using the gemini key so i'm just going to place it here that's all now what i need to do is i'm just going to open this tab again terminal tab and i'm going to hit note index.js and wait for the response there you go i already got my answer and what was my question well, the question is what would be a good company name for a company that makes colorful socks all right and it is giving the response here vibrant threads and all its suggestions now you can also chart like uh, uh, other things right so you can ask some of the questions that you have like let's just say we'll simply ask will ai take my job as a developer all right so let's ask these questions to ai itself and let's find out the answer, right? So let me hit node index.js and wait for the answer. So like sometimes it just takes some time, you just need to be patient, all right? And then there you go, you got your answer here, right? So it is giving you a very long answer, right? So it is saying low level coding talks, okay? AI can auto, so it is simply saying like low level coding talks. It is saying AI can automate routine and repetitive coding tasks. And that's also basically it is saying that AI is going to do all the repetitive tasks for you and it is not going to take your job, all right? So it is giving all those answers for you. 
so if i come here let me kill this and let me clear the terminal all right now we are going to make this model much more advanced and much more better using prompt templating all right so let me introduce you to prompt templating here so here what is prompt template it is being explained in the document itself so of they say a prompt template refers to a reproducible way to generate a prompt like it contains a string that can take in a set of parameters right so you can make your own unique model using the prompt templating like you can import this prompt template functions using this langchain course slash prompt model and what you can do is you can create your own prompt like you can say you are a naming consultant for new companies now what is the good name for a company that makes this product right so this is how you can uh, basically tweak your product and uh, tweak this model and make your own model and you can restrict this uh, model to other you can restrict this model uh, from users to asking other questions as well so let me show you with the example all right so here basically what you need to do is you can simply uh, i'm just going to copy this all right and then i'm going to import this in my code and i'm going to show you with the help of example so just bear with me prompt templating is a really good thing here and then let me just come here and copy this part as well okay and let me hit some enter create spaces and that's all all right and here this is going to be the formatted prompt all right and then here i'm going to place this formatted prompt that's all all right now this is going to format the prompt for us and here what i want to do is i'm going to create a chart model for amazon all right so for that i have already returned a prompt as well so that i want to show you all right so that prompt i've already written i just want to copy this and show you guys and this is the prompt that i have already returned all right so let me cut this and close this and come here and all right so let me paste it out here and then in this template i'm saying you are a helpful chatbot for amazon web app which assist users in making good purchase decisions and register complaints the chatbot should like i'm giving all the information the chatbot should br uh, provide brief at max that is 40 words professional answer without being verbose only response to questions related to Amazon Web App, right? So politely decline to answer questions beyond the scope of Amazon, stating, I'm here to help you with your Amazon related queries. For other questions, please contact Amazon support at the red Amazon.com. That's all, all right? And also I'm saying it to maintain a conversational, a conversational tone and ask further questions to its users and keep the conversation square. Right, so that it can become a better chatbot and here i'm trying to add the user context as well so which user it is like which users is asking it and i'm here trying to place the user questions whatever the questions that is user asking so that this is the power of basically prompt templating so whenever user asks any questions we can pass this user questions here and other user details here and then also tell the model that answer in a certain fashion and we have in a particular fashion so we can add extra data using the prompt templating all right and then we can make basically our own variant of the chatbot right so that that is why prompt template is being used now in order to pass this username and then the user question what i am going to do is this i'm going to come here and then i'm going to place the username here all right and whatever the username you placed here it is going to be assigned here inside the username within this curly bracket all right so that is how they have developed this so we need to follow that rule all right and this is going to be the user question that's all and let's just say i'm going to make the username name as john all right now the username is john here and then i'm going to uh, type a question regarding amazon let's just say user is registering a complaint and then it is uh, going to say let's just say user is saying i have got a different color t-shirt delivered all right so let's just say this is the complaint that user is uh, uh, 
uh, saying to its chatbot and let's just see how the chatbot is going to answer so let me type you know, note index.js all right and then wait for the chatbot response so there you go it is giving us the answer that i'm sorry to hear about that john so again see it is using the user context as well like we are passing the username and it is taking that as well so it is saying i'm sorry to hear about that john we can surely help you with this return can you please share the order details for this t-shirt right isn't it awesome right we met our own ai chatbot now let's just say if user is uh, fooling around and then trying to play around with our chatbot model by asking some stupid questions like let's just say the question which is not related to amazon that we asked earlier like will ai take my job so whether it is going to answer it or not so uh, let us try to play around with this and then uh, let me hit the node index is and wait for the ai response there you go we got the answer i am here to help you with amazon related queries for other questions please contact amazon support and they have uh, it has also given the email like support at the red amazon.com all right so there you go guys this was an introductory video to langchain which is a ai framework that helps you integrate AI large language models like uh, Google's Gemini and ChatGPT OpenAI. So it has got many options here. You can simply come and read the documentation and you can use different model as well. Here we have used Google Gemini model. You can get OpenAI GPT model as well. And there you got the Llama model as well. It is there. So it is giving you all the models and options. You can come here and try around and play with this this is just this was just an introductory video so that how javascript developer can start learning ai and then begin their ai journey i hope you like this video if you liked it please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel it motivates me quite a lot and then uh, i'm going to uh, keep on bringing such wonderful videos for you all see you all in the next one